everyone my name is Stephanie and thank you so much for checking out this video if you are new here I cover oily skin hooded eyes and beauty so for today's video I'm gonna go over how to find your undertone I get this question a lot so I figured I might as well make a video so that way hopefully this can help you guys out not knowing your undertone can result in purchasing a product that is not your color and can cause you to look like a porcelain doll or make you look like you have an orange face or a tint of gray and that's just not cute so there are three undertones to go over it's cool warm and neutral so with the cool undertone you'll see like the reddish pinkish undertones with some kind of blue hints with warm you'll see like peachy kind of golden and then with neutral you'll see kind of like an olive or a mixture of the two that i first mentioned cool and warm so there are different ways to finding your undertone and the one that i use is the color of your veins so go ahead look at the color of your veins and if you see more more of blue veins then you're a cool tone if you see green then you are warm and then if you see kind of like a mixture of both like greenish blue then you're gonna be neutral so looking at my veins I do see both a blue and green so I am neutral I do have a mixture of cool and warm so another way to find your undertone is how your skin reacts with sun exposure. Do you tan or do you burn? If you burn, then you're a cool tone. If you tan, then you're a warm tone. So some people tend to get a little bit mixed up when it comes to sun exposure. Whenever they burn and then after that burn they peel and then there's a nice tan underneath, they tend to think that they are a warm undertone. But the truth is they're actually cool because their first reaction to sun exposure is burning. So another way you can find your undertone is with jewelry. Does gold complement your skin or does silver complement your skin? I kind of think that it's kind of like a preference when it comes to whether or not something looks good on you. It, I think it's kind of subjective. I feel like I look good with both. It could be because I'm a neutral undertone, but um, I, I just, I don't find that to be a very good way to find your undertone. I brought my little gold watch because I'm wearing silver, so I, I can't tell what looks better on me, silver or does gold so I just don't think that that's a good way to tell so really the way I would do it is just look at your veins so whenever you do find the correct foundation for your undertone you want to go ahead and match your foundation with your neck and your chest because your face is always going to be different from the rest of your body and don't match your foundation with your hand because your hand is not the same color as your face as your chest as your body you want to match your foundation with your neck and chest for me I go ahead and just put foundation right here if I go to like Ulta or Sephora or something I get the test sampler and then I put the little foundation right here on my jawline so that way I can see if it matches my neck and then sometimes I will just place it on my neck to see if it matches and that's gonna be the best way to do so I hope that these tips helped you guys find your undertone if you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up if there's another way you guys find your undertone please Please let me know down in the comments if you like this content please hit subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching bye